report. Mars resources seen as the key to missions. Any hopes of sustaining expeditions on the moon, Mars, or beyond would depend on getting down and dirty on those worlds in the form of using on-the-spot resources. In situ resource utilization or R I S R U the using of native materials and energy sources collected and processed to support human and robotic exploration would be very crucial to the success of manned space missions as ISRU derived materials would replace those that otherwise would have to be hauled from Earth and water is very heavy. Yes. Yes, you'll have to use the resources that be on the planets or moons or wherever you go. Just to go to Mars, yes. But there is water on Mars. Quite a bit, actually. Among other things. Propellant, energy, water and oxygen, building materials. All these ISRU in situ resource utilization products were the topic of discussion. It's a Space Resources Utilization Roundtable. held last fall at the Colorado School of Mines. For years, research in ISRU has been slow going due to a lack of commitment to long-term human space exploration. However, now things seem to be on the upswing. It's getting close to time. In fact, it is time. Time to go to the new frontiers. There is a range of possibilities for use of space resources and exploration strategy. Even before people are dispatched back to the moon and then off to Mars, God willing. There is now a feeling that something is finally getting ready to happen. It is clear that people are wanting something to happen. The important next step is to do all we can to be sure that in situ resource utilization becomes an integral part of the exploration initiative. Underscoring the stance that ISRU equals sustainability. Yes, for short term and long term. In other words, once you get to Mars, <laughs> you got to get things that you need to live right there, right out of the ground. But it is there, yes. It's there. The moon is being viewed as a nearby problem solving place for testing and honing ISRU automated machinery as well as crafting extraterrestrial processes and procedures. Two US moon orbiting spacecraft, NASA's Lunar Prospector and the Pentagon's Clementine Probe yielded, yielded information suggestive to some scientists the quantities of lunar ice perhaps might be tucked away in craters. Anyway, NASA has recently scripted a trio of piloted design reference missions to the moon, preferably at a lunar pole. Anyway, the moon is a stepping stone to Mars. Mars is a step, stepping stone to the stars. We could learn enough from surface operations on the moon to risk the lives of those astronauts that we'd like to send to other planets. The 
we use the moon properly, a failure on the moon, you bring it back and fix it. On Mars, it's a potentially fatal problem. So like I said, otherwise, other words, in other words, this, once you get to Mars, you know, gotta know what we're doing. But it is possible to terraform Mars. It is possible to live on Mars. To colonize. You know? Yes, these are more signs of the end times. Anyway, Mars is the future of humankind. Because it is the stepping stone to the stars and everything else. It's all connected somehow. It is time to put more resources into space exploration. <laughs>